And Turkish Foreign Affairs Minister Hakan Fidan has confirmed an imminent visit by Russian President Vladimir Putin without announcing the exact date as of now. Now, there are some officials and local media that have mentioned February 12th as a likely date, but the office of President Erdogan hasn't confirmed that yet. The visit will mark the Russian leader's first trip to a NATO ally since Moscow's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Now, Putin's scope of travel abroad, that's been limited since last year. In March 2023, the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant against him for the alleged deportation of Ukrainian children to Russia, a war crime. Russia denied the charge, called the move outrageous, but said it was legally void in any case because Russia is not a member of the ICC. Turkey is also not a party to the Rome Statute of the ICC, so Putin can travel to Turkey without the fear of being arrested under the warrant. Turkey, which shares a maritime border with both Ukraine and Russia, has sought to maintain good ties with both nations since Moscow's invasion. It has provided military support to Kyiv and voice support for its territorial integrity, but also poses sanctions on Russia. Ankara has sought to convince Russia to return to the Black Sea Grain Initiative. The deal was brokered by UN and Turkey to provide protected exports from Ukrainian ports. Moscow withdrew from the pact last July following a year of implementation. Now, Erdogan has said that alternatives to the deal could not provide a lasting solution. While Kyiv has said talks were underway for a revival of the deal, Moscow has said that it was not interested in reinstating it. Ankara and Kyiv recently signed an accord to allow Turkish firms to take part in reconstructing Ukrainian infrastructure damaged by the war. Turkey has close economic ties with Russia, particularly in tourism, gas supplies, grain and agricultural trade that make Western nations uneasy. However, the two have also been at loggerheads over conflicts in Syria and Libya, where they back opposing sides, as well as over tensions between Azerbaijan and Armenia in the South Caucasus.